Hi, I'm Rob Scribner from RV Travel Buddy. This is Cinder. You've probably seen her on RV Travel Quest. And she likes to get in the videos too. By the way, I like to welcome you to RV Travel Buddy. I wanted to take the time to, first of all, thank a lot of people who are out there making some great videos. So, with RV Travel Buddy, instead of trying to reinvent the wheel, there's some people doing some wonderful webs websites and uh, videos. Um, RV Travel, uh, Tito, um, Love Your RV. All those guys are doing some wonderful, wonderful work. Uh, Pippi, <laughs> Pippi's cute. Um, and so we don't kind of tread on them. We just put an emphasis on making sure that you watch their videos. So you'll see on RV Travel Buddy, we'll uh, um, often uh, reference their uh, videos, uh, make sure they get full credit for their videos. And uh, we urge you to watch them. Um, we're only a tool to help everybody find good information. Today, uh, what I wanna talk about with you folks is kinda concerning a little bit because I hear so much of it. But there's so much emphasis and from the van world to the class C to motorhomes and fifth wheels of come join us and live this free life and also uh, sell everything you got and uh, live full time in your RV. And uh, in some cases that works out pretty good for folks. Um, but Sherry and I have done both. <clears throat> so I want to make sure you understand that first of all obviously you're gonna do what you want to do and no matter what people are telling you you need to do what you want to do and what's best for your family and your finances so some people are fortunate maybe bought a used RV or something and it's been paid for others uh, want a little bit better RV like Sherry and I have a pretty new Montana 3625 RE um, and it was costly and we financed it and then folks with some of the nicer motorhomes uh, I'm sure some have a chunk of cash to pay for those in cash but a lot of them don't and so there's payments just like a house so what first thing I hear is like in the smaller units that travel around the United States being a stealth camper so you're telling me that I want to go travel all over the United States and I'm always going to be kind of looking behind my shoulder to see if I'm going to get kicked out of a Walmart parking lot or some strange places that I park and I want to make my rig not look like, a, um, like an RV so that's a great life. <clears throat> And, and it works for folks and, and some um, typically folks that are single don't see a whole lot of couples doing it, but there are a few. Um, restroom accommodations, everything's primitive and that may work, but at my age, at least for me and Sherry, that doesn't sound like a step up. It sounds like, <laughs> it sounds like when me and Sherry were in our, in our 20s. So. The other thing is, um, we always talk about stuff, get rid of your stuff, and I think everybody should do that. And if you watch some of our other videos from Paradigm Chimes, and uh, we also talk about an RV travel quest, um, getting rid of stuff is good, and it's not just because of getting rid of stuff is, is uh, help you get into an RV and travel full time. It actually helps take a lot of stress away. If you're not taking care of stuff, stirring stuff, that's less responsibility and worry. <clears throat> um, and it's more cost effective not to have so much stuff. So thinning out your stuff is always good. Uh, when you're full-time RVing, and we've done it, Sherry and I have done that, um, I guess what we got tired of is nothing was ours. Um, we had financed our unit so in fact it was ours but it was the banks too but everything we parked or stayed whatever was at the mercy of somebody else the parks uh, their rules um, uh, little things that you miss like having a yard or planting something or if you have a pet um, 
without a yard. They're not running free, and it's hard to find places to find nowadays to let your part um, your pets run free. And you can see we have Cinder, and she's a big dog, and and uh, so it just breaks my heart. And cooking and 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 things are always much smaller and and refrigerators and, and and we found after a while we actually bought a house later after full timing and we did extended RVing and that was actually much more satisfying about the time you get kind of tired of being in the same routine at the house or well, the weather was starting to get cold you could kind of like pack things up shut off the water shut off the heat whatever and get somebody to watch your house and take off for a couple months in your RV and that's that's really nice because just when you're starting to get sick of your RV and you get sick of constantly uh, living small you can come home again and kind of spread your wings again and start feeling good and you can kind of go in and out so I guess the big thing is I want to put an emphasis on is I know you're hearing so much about give it all up buy an RV go full-time uh, it's a wonderful free life and you have to remember that out of every 100 RVers, maybe one of us is making videos. So what are the other 100 doing? So I can tell you with RV Travel Buddy, our emphasis is on extended RVers and what you can do with your RV. <clears throat> I see RVs being used for jobs, for temporary homes, contract work, it's wonderful. Um, another thing I've seen is union workers that are uh, doing like highway jobs and want to have their wife or the kids are gone. They can actually use their fifth wheel, take it to the region and follow the work because a lot of times union electricians and, and mechanics for highway projects are running temporary jobs and if they don't leave the area they'll be out of work for a while. But with an RV, they can be mobile and actually follow the work. I've seen RVs used for sad things too, like divorces and, and losing a spouse and maybe financial stress. Um, but once again, the RV was a wonderful tool. So we want to put more emphasis on what you can do with your RV. <clears throat> like Sherry and I on RV Travel Quest, we use our RV as a mobile vacation home so we move it to different regions that we want to go to and we leave it at that location on a monthly uh, pay rate and we visit that area once or twice a month and sometimes uh, we'll leave it even longer um, we're in the Washington area and that's going to soon change but like we use Anacortes a lot we've had our RV in Central Oregon we've had our RV over in uh, Centralia and we've had it on the uh, um, eastern Washington area. And after work, because we have normal jobs, we uh, shoot off to our RV that's already set up and ready. And it's like having a home all set up for us in a different region. And it's our stuff, our clothing, our food, our dishes. And we love it. And it's actually pretty cost effective. So. I just like to ask to make ask you to make sure to weigh everything before you give up that house. Be, um, maybe find a way to do snowbirding before you hear all this freedom stuff. It's not all that's cracked up to be. Uh, there's a lot of happy things going out there. Some great groups. There's fantastic things, and I do emphasize getting good equipment and 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 utilizing the internet and, and solar and all these wonderful tips that you're seeing from all these great websites and uh, uh, video channels I highly recommend you watch them and then maybe you you're, you'll enjoy the boondocking um, where it takes really a good skill of how to save your water use your power and live off the grid for like 14 days <clears throat> that is fun and enjoyable but after a while it gets kind of old too so once again, I just want to say that all of it's good. I'm not taking one side or the other. I'm asking you to make sure and ask lots of questions if you're thinking about getting into the RV world or want to go a step farther. 
talk to people, maybe even go to RV parks and go talk to people that are near your house. Every, every area has got an RV park. And you will see people using their RVs for all kinds of things, not just full timing. So that's my message to you. I, I once again want to thank everybody who's creating videos and we ask, um, oh, I actually just saw a video from Just Incredible. He's asking that more people make videos. We want to know what you're doing. We want to see your ideas. <clears throat> uh, some clever things are going on out there and we don't, uh, we don't hear about it. We keep hearing things from the same people over and over. So some new blood would be great in the RV world extended RV, van life, uh, nomadic living, all of it's great. Um, I guess another thing is I want to put emphasis on is not always that easy to get part-time jobs and, and, and I know there's work camping and things like that and so really you need to balance all that. Do your homework. Talk to these people. Find out how they're making a living. Um, you may find out it's just not going to, the numbers don't work. So, um, don't, don't think it's magical out there that you're going to make a lot of money off of videos or doing affiliate marketing or, uh, or writing a book or something like that. It's a lot of work and you have to have the skills and the equipment. So I'm running out of time, so I want to thank you very much for uh, watching RV Travel Buddy. Uh, we'll continue to tell you about great videos that are out there and we'll continue to give you uh, the best reports possible. Anyway, thank you and thanks for watching. Bye now.